Hi, this is Bizu, <laughs> formerly Philippa, um, but still Philippa in some parts of the world. But um, you know, I feel like I'm a pretty in tune person about you know my strength and power in the world. And, you know, I've been you know, from a family of ten and traveled the world and had many jobs and have a beautiful son and you know I'm but I all the things I've done um, and I always just look for beauty and power but I've always been in wonderment and and sometimes uh, suffered what was it called um, uh, gender dysphoria I identify as a transgender person and it's not always an easy thing to be out in the world and find safety and um, I was invited um, by Julia and Susan to take this course the birth dance and I knew from the start for many years that I always wanted to curious about how how there was gaps I didn't understand about when I was born or as a child with a huge family. And, um, but it was the most remarkable and, you know, gentle and also scientific process where I was able to, you know, uncover some unconscious memory. Although I know that most of it was there, I just, and I really got to see, um, you know, I really got to see the sense of my true gender at an age. I had the idea, I mean, um, you know, I've actually been involved in transgender advocacy because I really authentically feel that. And it was really through the community of people I've met that identify as such. And, you know, maybe there was some reason that people felt the way they are that they was born a different gender than they were identified as. Um, I was born into the world and they called me a boy. And you know, I went along with it for some time, but I, it's just not so. And uh, you know, it's not entirely who I am, but it's important about the safety I'm in in my world. And so doing the birth dance process, which was just this loving and really extraordinary process of slowly building resources and skills to identify and reach the goals that you have. I came in with certain goals. I wanted to be more productive and I wanted to understand some of the patterns that would seem to self-defeating and some of my sadness. And, you know, I thought it was going to be, you know, some kind of you know, thing that I was going to be hung out to dry for a while, you know. Mm. And really, it was a beautiful process. So I, um, you know, I really learned to tap into the slowness and, and, and be coached to feel what's in my body at a certain point. And then kind of ask questions, like be in a wonderment. What it is to have an ecstatic, wonderful life? A wonderment. I've always wondered, like, what's next? How can I have a full, ecstatic life, you know? How can I be financially free? How can I be more loving? What are the things that stop me? What are the things that I've, you know, had regrets for or felt like um, this small person when I was a child? It always came back. So thank you so much, Julian and Susan. And... Um, Everyone else has created this process of seeing another part of me that I knew was there, yet I needed some coaching and I needed a lot of safety to identify things that I feared. And it's a lovely process and um, you know, I'm very clear about <laughs> my transgender identity. I don't think there's any problem with it. And uh, you know, I have now have internal safety I have more safety about myself because I really know who I, I have a sense, a foundation of, a 
of that. And uh, that makes all the difference in the world when I go out in the world. People can see my aliveness and how clear and confident I am. And it really comes from building a loving community uh, and having people support you. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. It's been a pleasure, Bisu, having mm -hmm. you. And you look absolutely radiant thank right you. now. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Okay, bye. Bye.